This is question number 13. So in this question, we have a closed tank like this. So we have a, a hole at the, at the bottom plane here. So and then we fill with uh, water and then we have an oil here and then we have a uh, gas. So means the air. So and then because after we uh, fill all this fluid, so uh, for sure it will go out in this hole and then to make sure that the, the, the fluid is remain in the tank so we stop we stop the, uh, the hole here with a cone and then to make sure that this cone not uh, fall uh, downward like this so we push this cone with uh, a, a set with a force so we write as a T here so in this question we need to calculate so what is the amount of T need to apply in this system to make sure that there are no leaking in the hole. So as you know, we have a pressure here. So I mean when we have pressure for sure we have force. So and then again here we also have pressure. So means that we could uh, calculate the force and also the pressure from the air here so we could calculate uh, the uh, the force needs uh, equivalent to the value of t by using this calculation okay so and then uh, because our area is here so we only need to consider uh, fluids that uh, exist above the area here so means that the the fluid at this region is actually not uh, counted in the calculation so the relation between force and pressure is pre force is equal to p times a so and then if we could calculate the pressure we multiply with the cross-sectional area here so we could calculate the force okay so for gas here so the pressure is 110 kilopascal so means that the gas will have pressure uh, the same pressure will act all uh, at any at all direction so means that we just take the pressure here 110 kilopascal so we use times 10 to the power of 3 and then we multiply with the cross sectional area of this one which is pi r square so we could calculate the pressure the force uh, caused by the existence of this gas is equal to 17.495 kilonewton so and then we could calculate the force uh, that uh, due to the existence of uh, oil here so and then as i said the the force is push the oil downward like this one so means that it is actually equal to the weight of the the weight of the oil so to calculate the weight so the common uh, equation is m times g so and then we know from the previous lesson the density is equal to mass over volume and normally we could calculate the mass here as rho times volume and times g so and then normally people will write as rho g and v volume which is the volume here is the volume of the oil here so and then we could calculate the rho gv for the oil as this one so it is equal to uh, the specific gravity of 0 0.85 times the density of water we have gravity and we have the cylinder volume here so it is equal to 0 0.7975 kilonewton So and then we could calculate the weight of water that exists above the cone. But in this calculation, you must uh, understand that we we have a cone here. So and then we have a, a volume of water like this. So and then the the volume of water need to be calculated is actually un, until this area only. So means that we need to deduct with the area of cone 
so we could calculate as this one so first uh, we could calculate the volume of the cylinder so let's say we assume that it is volume of cylinder and then we minus with the volume of the cone so out okay volume value of the cone so after this deduction so we could get the volume of this one okay so and then you could see the calculation here and this is the calculation for t so we know the uh, angle is uh, 40 degree and then uh, because we only discussed about the half angle of it so we only take 20 degree so this is the value of the cone okay so and then we substitute into this one so we could get that the weight of water is 2.331 kilonewton so we add all the force here so the minimum force required to hold the cone is 20.622 kilonewton